Jefferson, the town crier of Liberty Square. But my friends call me JJ. Gather round, gather round. Come closer, all ye people, gather round and listen well. I've got a satchel full of history's greatest tales to tell. Your hair will stand on end with all the history and such. Unless, of course, you're bald like me, in which case, not so much. Well, hey, Sam. <laughs> it's Sam Eagle, everybody. Tell us, Sam, what great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the Declaration of Independence! Ah, a great story indeed. The people of the colonies, they said, let freedom ring! Declared their independence, and they overthrew the king! There were battles, there was violence, there were spies and traitors too. But we won't speak about all that. This is wholesome, through and through! Right, let's bring out some friends to help us. Hey there, that's your cue! Welcome! Great moments in history. La 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 la. Great moments in history. And this one features more. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history. But only the American. Great moments in history. But just the American parts. to great moments in history. But just the American parts. That's yeah, right, Sam. Yeah. As the official Liberty Square historian, I have drafted tributes to every important event in American history. JJ, please remind everyone which great moment we are sharing today. The Declaration of Independence. Excellent. I read it every night before bed, and so should you. <laughs> and now I will recite from memory the entire Declaration of Independence. <clears throat> when in the course of human... Uh, excuse me, uh, Sam? Sam? Kermit, you are interrupting America. Uh, uh, Sam, the gang and I were talking, and we had some ideas to make your show more entertaining. Entertaining? Mm -hmm. In a theme park? Yeah. Highly unusual. Uh, please, Sam? Uh, JJ, I could use a little help here. Oh, sure, Kermit. Let's put it to a vote. All those in favor of making Sam's story more entertaining, say aye. Aye! The ayes have it. Oh. It appears democracy has spoken. All right, Kermit, you and your band of weirdos can help. <laughs> okay. But please, do it with dignity. Oh, sure, Sam, we always do things with dignity. Hey, Kermit, the all-chicken chorus is ready for their big number. The clock heard round the world. Uh, Get it, girls! <laughs> Oh, Kermit! What part will Moi be playing in today's performance? Uh, well, Piggy, this is a story about the Founding Fathers. There's no part for you. No part for Moi? Uh -uh. Oh, we'll see about that! <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, places, everyone! Sam, JJ, take it away! All right, friends, what do you say? Wanna help us make history? Yeah. Woo! Cue the patriotic music! The year is 1776. 1776! We are in Philadelphia! Philadelphia! JJ, why are you doing that? I'm the town crier. Well, cheer up and allow me to continue. <laughs> <laughs> the year is 1776, and the Second Continental Congress has convened. Roll call, Thomas Jefferson. Hey, old Jefferson here. John Adams. Hey, that's me! <laughs> and the highly quotable Benjamin Franklin. Ah, Ben Franklin here. A penny saved is a penny earned. And if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is definitely not the sport for you. <laughs> Let's hear it for your founding father! <laughs> Sam? The delegates are discussing the question of America's independence from England, and there is much debate. That's you guys. Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, debate. 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 Uh, point of view. Uh, uh, opinion. Says you. Argument. Point. Uh, count of order. Order. I'll take two hot dogs with extra mayo. A banana sounds appealing. Waka waka. You 
Will you get on with it? Okay, Sam. Guys, guys, look, let's get down to business. Does anyone have any arguments in favor of independence? I do. Our continued association with England has grown intolerable. King George has altered our government, enforced cruel repression, and abolished our rights. Wow, nice job, Gonzo. How did you remember all that? I stapled it to my arm. <laughs> yes, that's gonna leave a mark. Okay, now, does anyone have any arguments in favor of England and King George? No! No, no King George! Come no on, everybody! King George! No King George! No King George! No King George! No King George! <laughs> Someone call one! Piggy, what are you doing here? I told you there's no part for you in this show. Of course there is! After all, who better to play royalty than what? All hail King George! Piggy, women aren't kings, they're queens. Fine! All hail Queen Georgia! Grief. I protest! This is not historically accurate! The king was not at the Congress! You got a bear playing Ben Franklin. And doing a great job at it. Let's hear it for the bear. Yeah. Go Fozzie. Go Fozzie. Go Fozzie. Go Fozzie. Yeah. Guys, uh, can we continue, please? Sorry. Sorry. King George? Uh, I mean, uh, Queen Georgette? You are not a good ruler. Who? What? Yes, you. You mistreat the colonists. You raise taxes. You are drunk with power. You might even say she's intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Queen Georgette, can't you see? The colonists are angry. We, we are angry. angry. The colonists are irate. We, we are irate. irate. The colonists are revolting. We are revolting. You can say that again. We are revolting. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's time to vote. JJ, if you please. Sure. All those in favor of declaring our independence from England and Queen Georgette, say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Let's declare our independence. Aye. Aye. Queen Georgette, it appears you lose. Wait, what? I lose? Well, sure, Piggy. You, you see, in the American Revolution, England loses, which means the king, or the queen, loses. Excuse me? <laughs> it is I, Georgette Washington! And I cannot tell a lie! I look fabulous! Hey, this is a jealous outfit! Enough of this nonsense! Can we please move on? Oh, sure, Sam. Now we need someone to write the declaration. We need someone with the brains, someone with the wit, someone with a pen. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, uh, okay, I, Thomas Jefferson, will write the declaration. But I'm gonna need everyone's help. Let's start with a list of demands, shall we? I demand a new cell phone, a big old oh, oh, dressing room. I want a case of blood oh, oh, chicken. Somebody say chicken. Hey, hey, this again, sorry, you can't have a cell phone. Get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Guys, when Jefferson wrote the Declaration, it was more than a list of demands. What? what? Oh. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, it was about things we all believe in. Things worth fighting for. Th things that inspired the birth of a new nation. Gee, Kermit, what do you mean? Well, like the Declaration says, we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are, all together now, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> so, Sam, why are you crying? I thought that was pretty good. It wasn't good. It was glorious. Yay! Way to go, everyone. Oh, hey, Sam. I guess now you're the town crier. <laughs> Just ring the bell. <laughs> Let freedom ring! Great moments in history, the fourth day of July. Great moments in history, we said to George goodbye. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts.
Great moments of history. Great moments in 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 history. For just the American parts. Thanks, everyone. We couldn't have done it without you. Uh, and to England, no hard feelings. You're still one of our best friends. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today. You know, I'm feeling especially patriotic, so I'm going to go visit the Hall of Presidents. I have bought seats. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> Come along, everyone. See you in Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Bye, everybody. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. So long, everybody.